I'm Leslie Cornwell, Certified Nurse Midwife. Um, I wanted to put together a little short series on our YouTube channel and other great resources. Just some of these highlight tips for midwives, especially midwives across the world that don't get that initial education or they're just looking for little tips to get started. So one of the common questions I get when I'm precepting people is how do you tell baby's position? Um, and Allison's been so wonderful to help us out today. When you're 30 weeks, it's much harder to tell, but my core concept is I want to talk step by step what you're looking for. So I, of course, ask Allison for permission to feel her belly and check her out. I think so many times we forget the basics as a midwife. We just put our hands on, we do our thing, we go on autopilot, and we have to be respectful of the moms and the families we're taking care of. So Allison, is it all right if I touch your belly? Of course. Thank you. So I, a lot of times, every midwife I've ever worked with is totally different, so this is my style, is I go side to side and I just start feeling and go to the top. So she has a little bit of a Braxton Hicks contraction right now, which makes it easy because I could feel the top of her tummy, the fundus, and then I go side to side and I rock, and then I try to be as gentle as I can because that symphysis pubis can be tender. Because she's 30 weeks, we're not going to be able to feel anything engaging. Um, sometimes we get lucky and we can feel a head or a cute little butt down there, but at this point with her uterus being nice and hard, it's hard to tell the position. So what I'm looking for is a very smooth, firm side, and as I'm pressing slightly hard, I'm feeling more of knobby edges. Sometimes I get lucky when we're towards the end, the uterus is thinner and we can actually feel the foot sticking out. Baby's foot's right here. <laughs> so, um, my gut, I'm going to listen to heart tones. So at this point, I know there's a foot here, I know there's a back here, and I'm going to start my heart tones here, and if I don't get very good sound for the heartbeat and I get very good sound up here, I always start wondering where's the butt at versus the head, because we're wanting to get the back of the baby. So we will move to the next part. We're going to measure her tummy. This is called a fundal height. So we start right at that symphysis pubis. Um, we try not to be too mean and press on it hard, just the top of the bone. Um, a lot of ladies, I'll try to keep my subjective knowledge out of things and not ask how far along they are, flip over the um, measuring tape so I can just get an accurate uh, measurement for her gestational age. So we kind of feel where it's soft, soft, and then that ridge, there's kind of just a subtle ridge and she's 30 weeks gestation and I'm getting her measuring 30, which is perfect. It's normal to get above and below two centimeters. Um, some cultures will actually consider three centimeters. I think as midwives, we really wanna focus on the bigger changes. Is she measuring above and above and then all of a sudden she's gradually measuring lower than what she's been doing over time or has she always been big has she always been smaller that's more of a normal growth curve so we'll see if this baby's gonna make me look good or not <laughs> So traditionally, I try to go to the lower quadrants because most of the time the babies behave and are head down, especially towards the end. Um, and I felt the baby, and the baby can roll side to side. I stress that to the moms just because this is the baby's position now doesn't mean in an hour. Baby just kicked me. Mm -hmm. And look at that, baby made me look good today. <laughs> And that's another reassuring sign because it's very difficult to get a Doppler sound wave off of a baby's butt. So, 130s, excellent heartbeat. And so I always tell moms like 110 to 160 is a normal range and just because it's 110 today doesn't mean boy or girl. It tends to just be a normal reference range if they're more excited, kind of like we exercise and move versus we're taking a nap and we're relaxed. So um, 110 to 160 is perfect and your baby sounds great. Sometimes we get really lucky if they're wiggling and we can actually hear the acceleration, that quick increase in the heart rate. That's a great sign of oxygen. So nope, your baby's perfect. Thank you so much for letting me do the exam on you today.